Hello everybody, Kader AK is here and today we will be making a Pomodoro timer disguised as a Mario block. We will be building it around Arduino Pro mini board with a 4 digit display, RTC module, button switch and piezo buzzer. But before that let's see what is Pomodoro. The Pomodoro technique is a time management method developed by Francisco Cirillo. It used a kitchen timer to break work into intervals, separated by short breaks. Each interval is known as a pomodoro, from the Italian word for tomato. Let's list the features our pomodoro timer should provide. First of all, it should be a timer with a button, right? It should allow us to change the time interval. Also, it should show how many pomodoros we complete it today or at any day. So the statistics should provide us information about completed Pomodoro this week, this month and all time of course. We should be able to start, pause and abort the time. On success, it should increment the Pomodoros completed. Before starting the timer we should have 10 seconds grace period when we can abort it without any penalty. All aborted sessions will get you penalty. Also, you need to take break before next Pomodoro. This should be implemented as well. The Pomodoro statistics should be stored there forever, or at least <laughs> while well, you need it. Also, it should look like a Mario block. That was the whole point, right? Okay, let's start our journey by finding a Mario block on Thingiverse. I like this one. It definitely looks good and has some space to store our project inside. So let's download it and tweak it. We will need to make few holes here and there to fit our interface button, display and DC power connector. When we are done we can slice it in Cura. Make sure to use support when needed and some good profile like Chap. Do the same for the block head and we are good to go. It should take few hours to print the block, head and accessories that should be glued later. So take a seat and enjoy the view. Next step is to build the electronics. For that one we have a list of required components. First of all it is an Arduino Pro mini board. Then we will need a USB to serial converter. A button. The only way to communicate with the timer. A 4 digit display. RTC module. A lot of jumper wires. A DC power connector. And of course, piezo buzzer. Now let's try to connect it all together. We will start with the USB to serial converter that will be used to upload the Pomodoro program to the board. A button switch module. It has a VCC ground and signal pin to connect. A piezo buzzer connects to ground and an output pin controlled by the board. RTC module that need VCC and ground to power itself and two wire interface for communication with the board. Digits display also needs VCC and ground and two wires for communication with the board. Now let's connect the converter to a computer to start the coding. Let's program our buzzer to make some sounds. We will create a method that will play different frequencies with given delays between them. Creating a frequency to a note mapping will simplify the process. So now we just need to define nodes and their length.
By using TM1637 library, we can program our display to show different digits at their places. The colon symbol can be used to show that the timer is actually running. To control the button switch, we will read a digital input from the pin. The length of the button will define what type of action is requested by user. We will have support for short and long clicks. Very short clicks will be ignored. The RTC module provides us with the ability to use a more precise real-time clock than a built-in on the Arduino board. Also, this clock is running even when it is not powered by using a CR2032 battery, which can power it for over 15 years. And as a bonus, you get EEPROM to store your data. Pretty cool, huh? When coding is completed, we can compile our program and upload it to the Arduino board using a USB to serial converter. By opening a serial monitor tab, we can see printout from the running board. Before putting it inside the block, we need to run some tests to make sure that our Pomodoro timer is working as expected. Some in-house QA won't hurt. Now we can glue the display to the block. Then do the same for the button. Push the DC connector through the hole and insert everything inside and we are done here. Let's power it on and enjoy the show! Very short clicks are ignored, of course. The short one will increase the timer and the long one will start the countdown. Oh yeah, it is working, cool! I really hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas for your own future projects. If you want to see more, please do not hesitate to leave your comments and questions down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. I will put a link to the GitHub repository for the project in the description for the video. Hope to see you soon, bye bye!